Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and next week I'm doing something I've never done on my YouTube channel before. I am bringing you Fast Training Week. Fast Training Week is where we fast together and practice different fasts, and next week I am going to show you how to use fasting to up your happiness. How many of you feel like you need more happiness? If you do, join me in this process. In this video, I'm gonna show you what that looks like, which fasts will increase happiness, and how you can join us in Fast Training Week. So, and as always, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and if you love this information, share it out into the world. We need more happiness right now. We need to flood our brains with neurotransmitters that make us feel joyful. And next week, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so let's dive into how you can use fasting as a tool to increase your happiness. And so in this video, I'm gonna go through the neurotransmitters we know make us happy and that we can use fasting tools that or different versions of fasting that we can use to maximize these new neurotransmitters. I'm also gonna show you some cool science. As always, I love bringing you the science. And for the first time ever, we are doing Fast Training Week here on YouTube. And I'm gonna talk about what that next week's Fast Training Week will look like and how you can participate here on YouTube and what we'll be doing to make sure that you, you have a proven path to use fasting to lead you towards a happier brain. And if there has ever been a time in human history where we need more happiness, it is now. So I'm so excited to be bringing you Fast Training Week and especially Happiness Fast Training Week to my YouTube channel. So stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk to you about how we mix all these fasts together to get you happier. Okay, so let's start off with this. Think about this for a moment. We have been taught in our culture that happiness comes from our external circumstances being in alignment. And yes, that does make us happy, right? We have moments of, of bliss, but then we can go down into these areas where we're really depressed, even when our circumstances are perfectly lined up. And we know from neuroscience that there are things like zinc deficiencies and magnesium deficient deficiencies and neurotransmitter imbalances that really start to um, affect how we perceive happiness. What I wanna show you is how you can dive into these neurotransmitters and use fasting as a tool to balance these neurotransmitters out. So I am gonna go through, I've got one, two, three, three different things to know about using fasting as a tool to improve your happiness levels. And then I'm also going to talk about Fast Training Week and how you can participate in that. And so that after five days of fasting, you're feeling more joyful. Okay, so let's start with this. What neurotransmitters do we need to be in balance in order for our brain to be able to be happy? So in the, the way I look at it in, in the most simplistic sense is there are four neurotransmitters that we've got to have in balance. First one is dopamine. So a lot of you guys have probably been hearing about dopamine um, coming from too much food, dopamine coming from social media. Like we are in a dopamine saturated world right now and fasting is an incredible tool to reset our dopamine pathways. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Serotonin. Serotonin is the neurotransmitter that gives us a sense of well-being. So those of you that are prone to anxiety, many times you're missing serotonin. We know that serotonin, primarily 90% of it is made in the gut, and we can use fasting to upregulate our serotonin levels. GABA. GABA is this neurotransmitter that calms our brain. Well, science has shown us that if you increase your ketones, your GABA production will go up. A lot of you guys have experienced that when you've gone into these longer fasts, you know that you feel calmer. Well, that's GABA, you're getting a good dose of GABA. And then the fourth neurotransmitter-ish, it's it's, let's call it a neurochemical, that is one of my favorite is BDNF. 
BDNF is like brain fertilizer. So when you guys have been building this fasting lifestyle, so many of you probably have noticed that your retention for holding on to information, your brain clarity is so much better. But do you know that there are fasts that you can do to increase BDNF? I'll, I'll tell, talk about it in a moment. And when BDNF goes up, you balance out your dopamine pathways so you perceive joy better. So those are the four that during next week's fast training week, where I'm gonna take you through a series of fasts that are gonna balance those four neuro neurotransmitters out. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's talk about a couple of interesting, or a, a major interesting study that I found that I wanted to bring to you, and I'll dive into this deeper next week, but it's dopamine. So there is research showing that people who are obese, not everybody, but people who, some, the people they studied that were obese, what they found is their dopamine signaling pathways were uh, dysfunctional. What this means is dopamine is made in the mid part of your brain. And what they found is that people who were obese had less dopamine being released and they had less receptor sites for dopamine to get into the part of the brain that controls mood and memory. So they did a fast, I'll talk about that in a moment. They did a fast that got this dopamine signaling pathway boosted and at a higher level than it's ever been at before. So we're gonna do that fast next week. Second thing that they found on dopamine is that there is a direct correlation between insulin resistance, leptin resistance, and dopamine dysfunction. So you guys know when you come to fasting, we're really working with insulin resistance and leptin resistance. We're trying to balance those hormones out so that you can drop weight, but you can also look at those two, as you drop weight, you're also rebalancing dopamine. So, and to give you a, a little more clear idea, the fast that they found that started to help people regulate their dopamine signaling pathway, that started to reinvigorate these um, receptor sites, these D2 receptor sites was a 24 hour fast, my favorite fast. So you'll see when I go through the fast training week, I brought that in for you. Second thing, like I mentioned before, I want you to realize that the goal of next week, the goal to get your use fasting to manage and upregulate your happiness is we've got to get you some ketones because the more ketones we get, the more GABA happens. So imagine it over the course of several days where you're fasting and going in and out of different fasts like you'll do next week, as you're going in and out of these fasts, what you're gonna find is that you're gonna be calmer and more, jo more joyful. So let me know if you're into that, put it in the comments. If you wanna be calmer and more joyful, put it in the comments, because I think we all are experiencing this right now. We need those two emotions at, to be at its highest. So we're gonna do that with this Fast Training Week. Okay, so what is Fast Training Week? If you're new to my channel, if you're new to Fast Training Week, we take five days every month and we train our fasting muscle. So we always, I usually give two options because our um, platform and our following has grown and we have a lot of new fasters, I'm gonna give you three options. Okay, the first option, if you wanna join us in Fast Training Week, it goes from Monday through Friday. So it's five days. The first option is those of you that wanna do a water fast, go for it. Three to five day water fast uh, is a great thing to do during fast training week with community support. I'll be educating you here on YouTube about what that looks like. So if you wanna do it for the first time, I'll talk you through that next week in the series of videos that I do. Second option is what I call my beginner fast. The beginner fast is those of you who've never fasted before, your first step into fasting is three things. One, you're gonna go 13 to 15 hours without food. Two, when you go to break your fast, you're gonna break it with fat, like an avocado or nut butter. And three, you're gonna stay off of processed, uh, refined flours, sugars, um, harmful oils like canola oil, cotton seed oil, um, corn oil, um, and alcohol. So you're gonna pull the junk out, break your fast with fat, and start with this 13 to 15 hour intermittent fasting. And that, if you're a beginner, that alone is gonna to start to regulate these dopamine uh, signaling pathways. 
Now, if you've been with me a while and you're like, but I want to maximize my happiness, which is usually what I'm about, like, give me the extreme. I want to do the best I can to maximize my happiness. My happiness fast for next week has one, two, three, four parts to it. And we are going to write this out. So we'll put it on a little info square that will go on my Instagram page and it'll go here on the community page. So day one, you're going to do autophagy fasting. The purpose of autophagy fasting is to clean those neurons out of the brain. So as we upregulate these neurotransmitters, they can get into your brain and, and we can maximize the production of these neurotransmitters. Uh, autophagy fasting is simple. There are three parts to it. You might want to take notes. You might want to go back and re-listen to this. You fast for 17 hours. You break your fast with fat and you're gonna keep your protein under 20 grams and your net carbs are gonna stay under 50 grams. We will write this out for you. I'm giving you the overview. And that day is about cleaning out the neurons so we can get the neurotransmitters in there. Day two is dopamine day. On this day, you are going 24 hours of fasting and you're gonna, when you eat, you're gonna eat a ketobiotic meal. Ketobiotic meal is 50 grams net carbs, 50 grams protein, and over 60% of your food that day is going to come from good fat. Now here's the, here's the thing on the net carbs. The net carbs are coming from vegetables. Specifically, if you can do things like sauerkraut and kimchi, we, the, that's the biotic part, is I want your 50 grams net carbs to come from vegetables. Okay, so that, and on that day, what we're doing is we're rebalancing your dopamine signaling pathway. Okay, ready? Day three and four, I'm lumping these together. We are gonna do a 48 hour fast together. The reason for this is you can increase BDNF by 3.5 times the normal amount and we can start to get better memory, we can get better concentration and we can continue to bring dopamine back up. So you will do a 48 hour fast on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. On Thursday night, you will break your fast. So it's really only Wednesday that you're not eating. You will break your fast with another ketobiotic meal. I just mentioned what that was. So the way you look at the 48 hour fast is if you stop eating at six o'clock on Tuesday night, then you will not eat again until six o'clock on Thursday night. That would be 48 hours and now you've got all this BDNF. And then on the last day, we are doing a 17 hour fast. And this is what I'm calling my ketobiotic refeed day. So same measurements, the 50 net carbs, um, 50 grams of protein and over 60% good fat, but I'm gonna show you how you break a water fast because a lot of you guys asked this question. We just did this in the fat burner. So on this day, I'm gonna show you how, when you've been fasting for a while, how you can really bring in some of these microbiome or these, these polyphenol rich meals. So stay tuned for information on that. So there you go, that's the happiness fast. Now here's what we're doing different. So I'm bringing you the overview today and every day on my channel next week, I will have a five minute video. I promise I'm gonna keep it short. You will get a video explaining what you are, the task for the day and what is happening in during that fast. So day one on Monday, you're gonna get a video on autophagy fasting and all the miracles of autophagy. On Tuesday, I'm bringing you a video on dopamine and resetting these dopamine signaling sites. On day three, I'm gonna talk about this 48 hour fast on day three and day four, and day five, we'll talk about the microbiome refeeding. If you have any questions on this, please put in the comments. My team is coming and bringing and, and getting to you to answer those questions. If you need community support, if you, if you love this idea, but you need some community support, please come into my Resetter Collaborative on Facebook. You just put Resetter Collaborative in the comments and we'll, my team will come in and bring you the link. If you need guidance, you need more people to sort of oversee you, I have reset guides in my academy that will be there to answer your questions and guide you through this process. Just join our Reset Academy, put Reset Academy in the comments. So. 
that's it. That's what we're doing next week. Fast training week. This is, we're going to bring up the joy of the whole world. Be patient with me as I bring you more videos than I've ever brought you. I'm going to be very specific with how I teach this. Um, and I'm just so excited to put fast training week, especially on the topic of happiness, all in one place for you. So give me feedback. Are you excited about this? Are you confused? What do you need to know? Because next week, your happiness is going to be my priority. Excited to be doing this with you.